Hi friends, Teresa Sahi here. I am just wanted to spend a little bit of time with you today. Today is September 4th and it's kind of a great time in our planet and there's a lot of great energy going on at this time. So if you're in my Power She Facebook group, I posted in there earlier today that I was going to share a little um, new moon manifesting meditation ritual with you. So here I am, got back to doing that. And so just a short video, give you some ideas to um, really help you to set some intentions and to manifesting what you really desire and how to utilize this energy of our planet um, to help you do that. So yeah, so we're in this new moon phase, and if you've noticed the moon the last few nights, it has that beautiful crescent shape to it, where it's just the um, the dark is receding, the light is coming in. So that's the new phase. And this is the time of year that the new phase of the moon that really is strong, powerful in our planet, the energy is. And even in this month of September, it's um, there's two lunar eclipses going to happen. Now, I'm certainly not very well versed in that type of stuff, but I do know that we are on a very energy planet and we have the law of gravity, right? What, come, what goes up must come down. There's the ebb and flow of the tide of the ocean. It goes out, it comes in, it must go out. With every day we have a night. It's all energy. It's all cycles. It's all evolving. Even as women, our menstrual cycles get aligned with the moon, which means they're in great harmony when that happens. So we are energy too. And so why not utilize this magnificent force, divine source that we're given, that we are part of, to help us to manifest our deep desires? And stop living so externally and separated from that divine energy. So that's what I wanted to just have a little ritual with you. So because the energy is so prominent, it's new beginning, new time. And so why not take the opportunity to get really clear on what you want and set some positive intentions and plant those seeds in this new moon harvesting time. With that said, um, we'll just kind of, I'll share with you a little nice little ritual. You can go along with me, stop the video whenever you want and come back and or do it again later or do it again several times later, <laughs> you know, the next few days, every day, if you will. So what I have with me is I have a nice little candle, which is just, you know, nice to have around when you're doing a meditation. Something maybe to help you focus on, to look at, to distract you, things like that. It just can set a nice peace and zen phase. There's nice music playing in the background, but certainly you can't hear it here. But um, if that feels good to help relax you, maybe not music with words, just some nice um, instrumental music. I have some hot tea to enjoy as I'm doing a little journaling at the same time. And I definitely have my journal. As you can see, I use it quite a bit. I have a lot of um, pages filled up in it. And so I use it a lot. So you want to have your journal and your pen. Okay? <laughs> so if you don't have those things right now, stop the video and go get them if you want. Create yourself a little zen space environment. This is one of my rooms, the little zen rooms in my house. I always just put lots of pillows around, sit on the floor and a blanket, things like that. I have the light on overhead, so it seems kind of bright right now. <laughs> but, okay. So, why don't you just take a few deep breaths and just get out of your head space and allow your energy to drop down into your body. You can close your eyes. You don't need to look at me. I can't see you, and you're there all alone. And so just be one with yourself and... Yeah, just take a few deep breaths. Just imagine there's this beautiful bright light of energy that's coming down from our magnificent universal power and it's coming down, it's coming down 
to engulf you, to embody you, to support you. It's coming down through your head chakra and down into your body. It's just moving in with white light, meaning just pushing out any dark, negative, stuck energy in your body. Just coming in and relaxing more. You breathe more and more peacefully and methodically. Imagine the white light is coming down to the center of your body, down through all of your chakras, down to the midsection, the hip region, and it's going down all the way down your legs to your ankles and going down, back down into Mother Earth, burrowing deep, deep down into Mother Earth, digging down and holding on to the roots of Mother Earth, really grounding you so that you are in alignment and in your strength of all the divine energy from the universe above down to Mother Earth, holding you strong, holding you tight, your power source. And within that powerful energy space, you're going to just check in with yourself. What is it that you really desire to manifest in your life? What is it that you've been longing for, working towards? You're not asking how to do it at this moment. You're just feeling clarity what it is. Is it about your health? Is it about your career, your business? Is it about your relationship? Is it about a place you maybe want to move to? Um, I don't know. What is that for you? What is it that you really wanted to manifest? Just hold that, that knowing with you for a moment. Yes, that's it. That's what I want. That's what I want to have. Now, just imagine, keep your eyes closed. You're breathing, you're down, deep into your body, you're with yourself. You're one with the universe, with the powerful source that you're connected to. And imagine yourself now somewhere, somewhere outdoors. Maybe it's on a beach. Maybe it's um, sitting in a garden. Maybe it's strolling through a forest. Maybe it's overlooking the ocean on a porch, I don't know, wherever that is. You hear the birds singing. Maybe you hear the ocean waves. You smell the flowers. Just be in that space for a moment. You're walking, you're sitting, you're in that space. All feels good, you feel good. You feel rested and energized. And you look out into the horizon, and you see this woman walking towards you, and she keeps coming towards you, slow, graceful step, and you realize that it's you, that is you, that is your future self, that is the woman that has everything that you're intending right now, look at her knowing that she has manifested all that you desire, that you're desiring right now. How does she look? What's the look on her face? Her strides? She's meeting you eye to eye. She's coming closer and closer to you. And you feel this powerful energetic pull you feel like, yes, this is me. This is me having, being, and doing all that I desire. I see myself there. Look at me. 
take note of all of that, of your poise, your confidence, the softness of your face, the knowing, the energy around you. Look at her. Look at her right in the eye. She's there with you right now, right in front of you. And she has something to tell you. She's leaning in towards you. You feel that oneness, that knowing, that safety. And imagine hearing those whispers of wisdom, hearing those whispers that you've been seeking out, stretching for the words to come to you for so long and you just couldn't quite hear them. But the noise has gone away. The vision is clear. You know what you want. So therefore, the message is clear. Just imagine, what is that message? Imagine her talking to you, sharing with you. Maybe it's all not completely clear. Maybe you're sensing a feeling or the exchange of Information is through the touch, through an understanding, through a, a love, through the heart connection. But just tell yourself there's a message there. There's a message there. And you're hearing it. You're taking note of it. You're clear of what you want. And perhaps she's helping you to gain even more clarity. Perhaps she's giving you the information of, here's what you need to do next. Maybe that means she's saying to trust yourself, trust her, right? Just listen and be in that moment. So I'll just continue on. And if you want to do this while me, do that. Do that now. So now she, you hug and embrace and you exchange deep gratitude. And actually, the feeling is becomes maybe a bit overwhelming because you feel this connection so deeply and such a knowing that you... Do you have the wisdom? You are that woman. And you just feel that emergence in your body, which just kind of embodies in you. And that's you. It's um you're you, you feel yourself sitting up a little taller. You feel yourself a little wiser, a little stronger, a little more confident. Knowing that whatever it is that you want, all you have to do is listen to yourself, follow your guidance, trust in yourself. It's not about what others say to do, how to do it, if you can do it, whether you it can happen or not. It's lining up with what it is you want, being the woman that has what you desire, and trusting yourself. So it takes sitting back, sitting quiet, and asking, what is it that I need to do next? What would it take for me to have all of that that I desire? It doesn't matter how big or small it is. You can be desiring, I don't know, a new bicycle, or you can be desiring a mansion. It doesn't matter. My point is the size isn't the point. It's that you trust in yourself, and you follow the steps, you be the woman that has what you desire. It might take getting more knowledge, training, experience. It's a step-by-step, step, an 
and each step gets you closer and closer. And the journey is every bit as fantastic as the result. Trust me. It you become, you get to learn so much about yourself and experience so many things that you would never have experienced if you didn't start on the journey of trusting and moving toward it. Mm. Okay. With that said, I now recommend that you get out your journal and I won't take too much time here. You can do more of it later, but you open it up, date the date of the page and start writing down all it is of those pieces of wisdom and messages that you got. And you take that information and you write a letter. Dear Source Energy, dear Universal God, Allah, whoever it is that you might pray to, but it's all out there in the energy of the universe. It's all one. We're all part of it. Today, September 4th, my deepest desire is to and write it out. Write it out. And after you do that, you know, sign it forever grateful, your divine and loving and grateful child of the universe, Teresa, Harry, Sally, Mary. Thank you for the return. You write that letter and you fold it up. And in this new moon time of the planet, it's about planting seeds of desire. Now, some might think this sounds woo-woo and it can be whatever, you know, if you want to say that, that's fine. But there's definitely something about planting desires. It's like you plant um, a harvest to flowers. Um, plant it in a pot. Plant it in a flower bed. Plant it in your garden outside. Dig it up and plant it. Plant it with the intention that you may not water it. Well, you're going to water your garden, yes, but you're also going to water your spirit. You're going to water that knowledge that you were given, that, that wisdom, that knowledge that's going to keep coming to you. Maybe if you didn't hear all of it, it'll keep coming to you. Watering it means nurturing it with belief and trust and action and taking that action that it is going to happen so got a little longer than I thought I was going to do talking but that's my new moon meditation ritual for you I hope that you enjoyed it and that you will take me up on it and do it and plant that plant that letter of desire that your new moon manifestation will come to fruition. You're not going to time it. You're going to trust it. And you're going to follow it. Okay. Thank you, my dear darlings.